Okay, so in this video we're going to demonstrate the relationship between the exposure time and a couple of the image tool settings. So basically the image tool settings are a software manipulation of the image. If we if we have a certain exposure time, let's say 50 microseconds, I, I took a snapshot of that and I'll hold it for comparison. If we were required to reduce the motion blur and we had to decrease this, let's type in 25, so it automatically gets darker. If we didn't want to put up with that type of darkness in our image and we wanted a little bit brighter uh, at, at the equivalent of what it would be at a 50 microsecond exposure, what we can do is we can sort of manipulate this image in the image tool settings. So in here there are two settings that will work fairly well to uh, increase the light. Okay, so we have the, the first setting I want to I take a look at is the gain. The gain is obviously an artificial manipulation of the, uh, the image here. So if we, if we move this gain to 2, as you can see, it increases the light in our image. Um, this is this is equivalent to what it was at 50 microsecond exposure. So here's a snapshot of the current settings, and here's a snapshot of the 50 microsecond at a gain of one. These two images back and forth here, they're exactly the same. Now we're going to go back into the software. Now this time we're going to change the gain back to one. So again, it's darker. 25 microseconds. We're going we're gonna to change the sensitivity. Now the sensitivity, we're going to put it at 2. The sensitivity is only available if you're recording in 12-bit image depth. So that would be over here in your camera settings. Here's, here's where you'd select the image uh, bit depth. If it's on 12, you'll have the uh, sensitivity available. If it's not on 12, you will not have it. You will not have it available. Okay. So at a sensitivity of 2, a sensitivity of 2, a gain of 1, an exposure time of 25 microseconds. Um, here's a snapshot of the current settings. Here's a snapshot when we had the gain at 1. And here's a snapshot of the exposure time at 50 microseconds. As you can see, we have the same light level in all these different setting variations. Um, the advantage of using the image tools uh, gain or sensitivity adjustment is to be able to get more light out of our image and run the exposure time faster, which decreases motion blur. There's a disadvantage of this, and the disadvantage is that sometimes your image will be a little bit more grainier when you use the sensitivity or the gain settings. Uh, we, we really didn't see it here with this application very well, but uh, in some applications it will be more noticeable. You know, the one thing you might be interested in thinking is, well, what if we just put the sensitivity at 1.5 and we put the gain at 1.5, you know, to kind of you know, share the, the burden. So if we do that, we get this image. So if I take a snapshot of that, here's what it looks like. If we compare it to the other, the previous setting, we notice that the 1.5, 1.5 settings are a little bit brighter. So that's the settings we're at now, and this is the previous settings. The previous setting was a little bit darker. So in reality, when we adjust the sensitivity and the gain to 1.5, both of them, it's actually a little bit brighter. So the one thing that I played around with is uh, I determined that both of them, if they were set at 1.44, it gave us the best comparison between the, the previous. So if I take a snapshot of both of those settings at 1.4, this is what we get as compared to one setting at uh, 2. 
So this is 1.4, 1.4, and then this is the this one is the sensitivity at two. So we don't really see much difference between these two. You know, back and forth. There's there's really not much difference. So again, the advantage of playing around with these two options in your image tools is to increase your or decrease this number so basically ma make your exposure time faster and again that decreases your motion blur